Welcome to Peak to Profit, where each week we share practical and tactical guidance to help you grow and run a profitable business. Hi, I'm Jennifer Drago, award-winning strategist and business coach. I help entrepreneurs and small business owners develop a laser-focused roadmap to business growth so they can earn more, work fewer hours, and amplify the impact they have in the world. This week on the segment, and every few weeks going forward, I'm going to take some time to review thoughts about entrepreneurial mindset. As an entrepreneur or small business owner, our mindset is important to the success of our business in many ways. What is mindset? Well, our mindset is our set of attitudes and beliefs. Research shows that having a positive mindset can impact our health, our performance, and our happiness. In fact, having a positive mindset in your life has been proven to improve your longevity, to make you live longer. A positive mindset is also essential to the health of your business and for your motivation as a business owner. What are some things that you can do to have a positive mindset? Well, first, you can read or listen to successful business people who inspire you. You can also participate in networking groups and communities of like-minded business leaders because you're always sharing things that are similar in concern, and you can also share tips to, to move through some of the harder challenges that you may have. And another way is you can invest in a business coach. One of the best ways that I've encountered to upgrade my own mindset is from the book called The Gap and the Gain by psychologist and author Dr. Benjamin Hardy and Dan Sullivan, who is founder of Strategic Coach. And what Mr. Sullivan and Dr. Hardy found is that as humans, we are programmed to focus on the negative in a situation. So when it comes to our goal setting or our to-do list, we naturally focus on how much we haven't gotten done. If we instead focus on how much we've achieved, it can bring about positive emotions and it feeds our confidence. Well, why is this important as an entrepreneur? Well, all small business owners suffer from self-doubt and a lack of confidence from time to time. It's completely normal. We need to learn how to process and work through these limiting beliefs as they arise so that we can move our business forward and not get stuck. Many entrepreneurs aren't satisfied or happy with their business pro progress or success. And let's face it, launching a business and running a business, especially if you're a solopreneur, you're doing it all by yourself, it can be hard and it can be lonely. We have to be our own cheerleaders and we have to know how to keep ourselves motivated day after day. We have to learn how to accept and learn from failure to keep moving forward. So let's illustrate this. We all have a future state that we're trying to obtain by operating our business. Perhaps it's a revenue figure, a net income goal, or the number of clients that you wanna serve each day. So we set that as our ideal state, and we're starting here. It's human nature to measure ourselves against our ideal state, even when we've achieved a goal that might be halfway there. So instead of uh, looking at our progress and what we've achieved, we look at the difference between where we are today and where we have to go. We look at the gap, and that's called gap thinking. It focuses on what we've yet to achieve. If we instead measure ourselves against where we started, this is gain thinking. And when we think about gain, we're looking at our progress and we're comparing it to where we started, our starting state. When we measure the gap, it breeds unhappiness because we always have more that we want to do and accomplish. But when we measure the gain, it breeds happiness because we realize how far we've come and how much we've already accomplished. Some of the benefits that Dr. Hardy found of focusing on the gain and celebrating your wins is that it stops you from comparing yourselves to others. It stops you from competing with others because you're just comparing yourselves to your prior state. It can also help you get off the treadmill of working harder and harder. And it helps you appreciate where you are and it helps you appreciate your progress as well as everything in your life. It can also provide an opportunity to transform every experience into a gain, building on momentum of the gains behind you. And what it does ultimately is it keeps you in a positive mindset. So how can you put this into action? Well, I have some tips for you. On a daily basis, at the end of each workday, list what you've accomplished that day. Everything you do can be a celebration. Sending that email to follow up on a potential sale, 
that's a win. Posting that content that feels a little vulnerable, win. Have you been procrastinating and up on updating your dashboard, but today you really did it, you dug in and you got that dashboard updated, that's a win. So we take advantage of celebrating each and every win in our business. And by doing so, we upgrade our mindset, our confidence, and our motivation. I also like to do this activity of celebrating the wins on a weekly basis when I'm preparing for the week ahead and creating my weekly plan. I look back and say, hey, what did I accomplish this week? And uh, sure enough, there's a number of things and I, I celebrate those wins each and every time. So anytime you're analyzing your goals, your financial statements, or any metrics in your business, note how far you've come and celebrate that growth as well. This is another way that we can recognize the wins and celebrate the gain. For example, I just celebrated my one year anniversary in my business since quitting my corporate role after 30 years. I've increased my audience by 300%, increased my social followers by 250%, and I'll reach my six figure revenue goal this year. Am I stoked about that? Yes. Is there more I want to accomplish? Absolutely. But I'm still celebrating where I've come from. And uh, I would encourage you to do the same in your business. It's what keeps us in that positive mindset. I'm going to leave you with some parting words from Dr. Hardy and Dan Sullivan. Always turn around and look where you started and always measure backwards. Again, looking back where you started and how far you've come. So your action takeaway today, if today's message spoke to you, I would like to encourage you to start an intentional practice of celebrating the wins in your life. You can do this at the end of each workday as we described and also at the end of each week. These daily and weekly practices will show you all that you accomplish in your business and will leave you feeling motivated, accomplished, satisfied, and happier overall. I hope that you've enjoyed this mindset moment with Peak to Profit. Take time every day to nourish your mind, body, and spirit because as entrepreneurs, our health is our business health. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.